Okay. Hello. Um, this is going to be about what you do with relative pronouns in Latin sentences. What we're going to do is first, for this first exercise, we're going to practice identifying what the various bits are and what forms they would be. We aren't going to translate all of these sentences that I'm putting up here. We're just going to talk about the stuff that's in the brackets. You will find this in the Lesson 26 Jenny's workbook. Um, I think I scanned it and put it in the materials. If I didn't, I will type up what the sentences are and include that with the assignment, etc., etc. Okay? So you may find it helpful, in fact, I'm probably going to tell you straight up, to shut, to stop the video and work on a sentence on your own and then start the video up again to see how you did compared to what I do. Okay? So we will begin with these first two sentences, and you might want to stop the video to either get your hands on the worksheet or um, get pencil and paper ready to go so that you will see what's going on here and be able to follow along. Okay? So stop the video now if you need to get the materials, and then start the video back up when uh, you have everything ready to go. Okay? So here we have our first sentence, To whom is that man talking? So we have a relative pronoun here, to whom. We have a demonstrative pronoun here, that. And you can decide if you want the that to be the ille that or the stinky iste that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to identify what the forms would be and why. So let's start with our relative pronoun. Hopefully, by now, if you see a two in front of something like this, you're automatically going to think dative case, two or four, right? So, to whom this is going to be dative case, and it's referring to somebody, okay? To whom is that man talking? Um, so, the guy is doing the talking, right? So, he's talking to somebody. We can choose the gender. We can assume that it's singular, right? So this is going to be data singular. We can also assume, because the Romans are sexist pigs, that this is going to be a masculine. Um, because, you know, why would he bother talking to a woman? Because the Romans suck about that kind of stuff. Particularly in sentence examples. So, we have data singular masculine to whom, back to that in a second. And then we have that man. Well, obviously, it's a demonstrative adjective. And it is modifying man. Therefore, we're going to want nominative, singular, uh, masculine, because men are masculine, yeah? So, depending on what you pick, you can go with ille or iste in this instance, and that's a fairly easy one. Ille or iste. Uh, we're, and I would say, in this context, you could probably leave out the we're, um, if, and pretend that this is like a substantive, but meh, we aren't translating the whole sentence, so it doesn't really matter. If we look here at data singular masculine, um, what you do is you go through all of the forms that you know of qui, qui, quad, and I will, let's do it together. Qui, qui, quad, quius, 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 qui, 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 quam, quam, quad, quo, qua, quo, qui, qui, quai, quorum, 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 quibus, 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 quos, quas, quai, quibus, 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 Shout out to Mrs. Fine, who loved to say quibus. Now, we want data singular, which is going to be third one down, masculine, qui. So this to whom is qui. Okay? And then the question is, well, do we need a yes or no sort of question word in the front? Well, it's not a yes or no question. You know, to whom is that man talking is not yes or no, it's like, you know, Fred the guy down the street, or the boogeyman, or whatever. So, um, we don't need a nay. There isn't any movement happening. The question word is right there. Um, I suppose we could even call it an interrogative. No, we can't call it an interrogative pronoun. But that's the question word. To who? Um, and so, qui is the form here. And then, ille or iste is what we've got for our that on this one. Okay? Um, next, we have the snake, which Anna saw in the grass, scared her. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. So, we have our relative pronoun, or relative clause, which is which Anna saw in the grass, okay? Now, who was scared? Well, Anna was. And so, 
The snake is the subject, right? He's nominative, singular, and I think snakes are masculine. masculine. Um, and he does the scaring of Anna. So the her here is going to be the direct object. And it's going to be a form of is, a, id, which I did not require you to memorize, but is found, I think, in Lesson 11 in the Wheelock. Um, and so this is formed very much like ille or iste, except it's, you know, a little bit weird. Um, but her in here definitely has to be a direct object, and it has to be um, a form of this particular pronoun. Let's go back up to which. The snake is the antecedent of which, okay? So which has to match the snake in how many snakes we got and what the gender of the snake is. So we have one snake, so it's a singular snake, and snakes are masculine, so we have a masculine singular snake. Then the question because becomes, what is the which doing in this particular clause, okay? Um, we're asking ourselves, okay, is it the subject? No, because Anne is the subject, right? She's the nominative, she's doing the seeing, there's our verb. In the grass is a PP, right? So the snake cannot be the subject. Um, there isn't a direct, uh, the only thing it can be is the direct object, right? Because what did Anna see? Anna saw the snake. So this has to be accusative. So the which is accusative, singular, masculine. It's accusative because that's what it does in the clause. And it's singular, masculine, because that's what it has to do to refer back to the snake. So you know what Anna, was, what Anna saw. It refers back, which is sort of, like, sort of like adjectives, right? You know what adjective goes with what now because they match in case, gender, and number. Well, we can't match in case necessarily, but gender and number we can do, and that's what's happening here. So the next question is, what form of qui qui quad are we going to use for the which? Well, we need singular masculine, which, if I remember correctly, qui qui quad, qui 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 quem, quem, quem is the form of the uh, relative pronoun, and then her is going to be the direct object of is a id, and it's just going to be am because uh, she's feminine and it's and that basically comes out looking like first declension. All right, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to erase the whiteboard, rewrite the whiteboard, and then I'll be back.